With us now is Itai Raviv, member of the family. Thank you very much for speaking with us, Itai. Uh, you lost your cousin, family members were kidnapped, some released, and your uncle is still a hostage in Gaza. We can't even imagine what you've been going through. Tell us about it. Yeah, it's uh, definitely crazy. It's almost 10 weeks now, and we still can't understand it completely. Uh, my cousin Rui was murdered on October 7th, like you said. Uh, other four family members were uh, kidnapped, and thankfully three were released. Ruti, Ken, and Ohad. Ohad, the nine-year-old boy with the glasses that I'm sure everyone uh, saw his video running towards his dad. Uh, I also met him already a couple of times, and it gives me hope for the future, hoping that Abraham, his grandfather, will be released as well. Abraham was, uh, uh, had his uh, 79th birthday last weekend on Friday in captivity. And we must remember that even though over 100 uh, hostages were released, there's still so many more hostages over there, and we must continue pushing and keeping it as a top priority for everyone, uh, both in Israel and in the entire world. Anything you can share with us about the uh, condition or whereabouts or anything you know about your uncle in captivity? Um, I know from uh, hostages that were released that he is somewhere in the tunnels of Gaza. He doesn't get too much food. He doesn't do anything all day. Uh, and it affects his mental state as well. Uh, we know that a lot of people were released from the people that were held with him. Um, so we are sure that it didn't con contribute to his mental health. Uh, seeing so many people getting released and then suddenly hearing the war comes back on, uh, it's probably not a good thing uh, for you when you are in captivity. And we know that he's injured. Uh, he was injured when he was taken uh, hostage, when he was kidnapped. And we know that he doesn't have time. He is not in a very good health, regardless of being in captivity, just even before that. And we need to do everything to bring him back home as soon as possible. On the more positive side, how was the reunion with the three family members? They all were, oh, had, uh, the, the little boy was like, uh, he captured uh, all of Israel. Yeah, it was amazing. Um, honestly, I, I'm just starting to talk about it and I'm smiling. Uh, it's, it's great to see them back home uh, with the family and with friends. Every day their house, Ken and Ohad, they live in Falsaba. Uh, so they return to Falsaba and every day they have family and friends visiting them. Ohad uh, slowly getting back to school to all of his friends. Uh, he's been getting so many uh, presents from just anyone possible and trying to adjust to normal life. They've been in hell and now they're back uh, in reality. But this reality is not good because we have been living it for over two months now. Uh, but they are slowly getting to know this reality and facing the horrible truth of everything that happened. And we're, as family and as Israelis in general, helping them to adjust to this new reality uh, as much as we can. Right. What, what can be done uh, in order to uh, release more, including your, your uncle? What, what, what are your thoughts? Uh, my thoughts, I'm not a politician or a military person, uh, but I saw what was the best way to release uh, more than 100 hostages, and it was with uh, deals um, and releasing some prisoners, even though it's, it's, it's not good, but it, it brought us our family members back and it reunited families uh, back together. So I think this is the best uh, course of action. Unfortunately, we saw just in the last week what happens when we try doing uh, other stuff. And even though I, I will support whatever brings my uncle back and everyone else back, personally, I think that the best way would be to uh, make a deal, some sort of deal. I don't know what it would entail, but I think this is the best way. Let's hope for the best, Itai Raviv, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.